हेलो गाइस दिस इज साजिद वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर्टिसंस वे फॉर आवर टुडेज वीडियो टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड यूज सीके एडिटर इन लारावेल ऑन माय स्क्रीन यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव टू फील्ड्स प्रोडक्ट नेम प्रोडक्ट बॉडी एंड प्रोडक्ट बॉडी कंटेंट्स दी सी एडिटर सो लेट सी स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट सो दिस इज दू आर एल for the official laravel ck editor package i will paste this url in the description below so at first we have to install this package by running this command in our project root directory so here i have open command from and here we have to run that command i already installed that package so i am not going to run it after running this command next step is open your app.php file config slash app.php and under the providers array add this line this one unisharp ck editor service provider they have given this same line here this line and after that again we have to run this command in our command prompt php artisan vendor colon publish dash dash tag equal to ck editor you have to run this command here once we run this command i show you what happened under the public folder they have created vendor unisharp and ck editor which contains some package related files now next step is how to use it very simple actually we have to just copy this code and paste in our blade file this is my blade file and this is my text area to the text area i have pass this id product body and i just copied this code from here this code and i adjust the path like uh, it this folder is resides under public directory so i use asset and then next path is same vendor unisharp laravel ck editor ck editor dot js this is the path i have pass and next is ck editor dot replace and we have to just pass our text area id here this id here and will automatically load means it automatically replace our text area with ck editor so very simple and rest of the part will exactly like means uh, while doing insert or update operation we have to assume it like text area so it just replaces text area with ck editor at the client side it doesn't have to do anything with server side okay so i hope you understand the tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching video have a nice day